Derek Schaefer. I'm a research scientist at uh, Princeton University in the Department of Astrophysical Sciences. My research uh, primarily focuses on the laboratory astrophysics. So the idea of taking uh, a system out in space and scaling it down to something we can study in the laboratory uh, in order to apply the uh, benefits that we have from, from a laboratory experiment. So I tend to specialize in something called collisionless shocks, a type of phenomena that you see in a lot of heliospheric and astrophysical systems. A shock is, is a process by which uh, a supersonic flow is slowed down to a subsonic flow by increasing the temperature and pressure. Your classic example would be a uh, like a jet, and it goes supersonic, uh, passes the sound barrier. In space, we see something similar. It's the same kind of idea. You have something flowing in very fast, say the solar wind, and it's coming in faster than the local sound speed. And as it comes in, uh, it hits an obstacle like the Earth's magnetic field. The only difference is in space, and what makes it so cool is that a typical collision in space but for say a proton uh, coming from the sun is the entire distance between the sun and the earth the one au so these things are not colliding so how how do you get these features that are shocks we know they're shocks we fly spacecraft through them um, without any collisions so if you want to study uh, a shock or really any astrophysical process in the lab you really want to find something that you're scaling between some dimensionless parameter that you're trying to match between the two systems and in the case of shocks, uh, the, the primary parameters that we're trying to match are uh, the Mach number and the scale lengths of the shock. And when you do that, you get a feature that basically behaves like the shock you would see in space, just on a very small scale. When I say small scale, well, we're talking millimeters. We can take that data uh, and then directly compare it to what velocity distribution data the spacecraft get and say, are we seeing the same thing? And maybe more interestingly, are we seeing something that the spacecraft are not in a regime that the, the spacecraft generally can't get to? Collisionless shocks are, are super interesting. Also, these shocks are very common in all kinds of, of astrophysical systems. When I came to grad school and found out about things like Lab Astro, where you could study these things in person, so to speak, um, in the lab, uh, I think that's what I most enjoy about my research area. Uh, if you're interested in, in plasma science, uh, I think the main thing I would, I would say right off the bat is explore because plasma science is a huge field and see what the most interesting thing is because all of these different fields have applications to society, uh, you know, in addition to any sort of academic type careers that, that you might consider.